Signs of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. That's only if you resonate with my energy. I appreciate all those that have liked, shared, commented, book with me. I'm not taking personal readings at this moment. However, my email will be in the description box below, as well as a link where you can copy and paste it into your browser where you can get a free chart from a reputable site with no affiliation to me, okay? Tarot is about energy. We have high vibe, we have low vibe, we have those in the middle and those striving to be in the middle. Now, with that being said, if you feel like something isn't you, then it may not be you. Readings are interchangeable. It's about energy, okay? This could be somebody in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them. An ex, a boss, a co-worker, a child, a passed over loved one even, okay? So keep that in mind. All the skip to my lose, I can tell by your comments. All right. We're going to go ahead and get straight on into this reading. Ethan, show me what it is I need to see. Show me. All right. So we have Virgo. I heard magician. <laughs> Why do I keep crossing musician? Mu <laughs> I'm putting musician and magician. In the same category, I guess because it is relevant, right? Okay, so some of us know that music can be healing. Okay, so someone could be taking the time out to listen to some meditative chants, or someone could even be orchestrating their own uh, meditative chants. That would be good, cool, right? Okay, so but I do feel like, uh, um, yeah. Virgo, somebody's dealing with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, as well as Venus. Make sure you have your chart. All right, so somebody could be finding out that their mother, their child's mother, um, you, okay, even your mother, all right, may have done some spell work, okay, or if not actual spell casting, someone is being very manipulative with their words. Somebody could also be... I heard denying their children, okay, or deny access to their children, okay, so this is a, a, a marriage for some of you, all right, so I see the, I seen the empress in a low vibration, and I see the emperor in a low vibration, so that was Taurus Libra energy, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a Taurus or Libra, all right, and this is also Taurus and Aries energy for me, okay, in the shadow form. This is also indication of someone that is very into, um, intellectual, okay? Or they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius having heavily in their charge. Okay, I heard Virgo too, okay? Some of you, you could be Aries or Taurus moons or dealing with someone that has an Aries or Taurus moon. This could also be a boss, uh, a disgruntled boss, okay, someone that's very aggressive. This could be a judge for some of you, all right? Something is being hidden. You could also be dealing with a Cancer or Pisces. <clears throat> with the moon card here, okay? Yeah, somebody needs to have courage to stand in your truth here. Someone um, took the advice of someone they shouldn't have, okay? Yeah. So this emperor, for some of you, is showing up in a shadow form because they were foolish. They did something very foolish, possibly during the full moon, okay? This person could have casted a spell or had a spell casted on them, all right? Whatever it was, um, it was something that was detrimental to this emperor's health, okay? Somebody shouldn't have listened to whoever... This person was, okay, um, more than likely regarding your divine feminine, okay, uh, or divine masculine, okay? Somebody got the wrong information. They could have been uh, in between a decision of their child's mother and their uh, twin flame here, okay? So somebody took some foolish advice, okay? I heard high priestess. Someone could have went to a high priestess and had some sort of incantation done or some sort of divination and it was false okay yeah this is third party energy with aquarius being here somebody could be dealing with the aries leo sagittarius libra and the sad uh yeah aries leo Sag heavy sagittarius here all right you can also be dealing with the capricorn aquarius cusp 
all right? Or just an Aquarius or Capricorn, that could be you, all right? So there's a victory here. Something came out about whatever was done in the dark. I feel like this is definitely the energy of a eight, okay? Lionsgate portal, which is today, all right? Um, and how I see this is there was some a lot of information being hidden um, from... Whoever this is resonating with, okay? There was, uh, I'm hearing conglomerati. We've been hearing that a lot. All right, so they're just telling me there is um, um, multiple people involved. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a business um, for some of you, but uh, for a lot of you, it is, okay? With that emperor showing up, this is somebody um, that was a boss. They, they, uh, I'm hearing they have multiple business or uh, multiple um ways of making money here, okay? So this is somebody that was very much um, in the now and in the go, okay? This person could have also went to court, I'm getting, all right? So there was a lot of deception with the moon card being here in the shadow. Yeah, look at that came out. All right, so yeah. For some of you, the deception was regarding who your actual divine masculine was and, um, the, and also who your actual divine feminine was. This person was in their ego, all right. Um, they could have possibly been manipulated by black magic or just sorcery, someone speaking ill will, spreading lies and gossip here. Yeah. We have Scorpio here as well. Scorpio, you could have been dealing with the Capricorn. Um, yeah. I feel like if you are a Scorpio, you are in a higher vibration. All right. Um, you may have recently went through some sort of uh, ascension for some of you, but, um, this has something to do with your psychic abilities, okay? Some of you may have also been um, in, in distorted energy because you were using alcohol, drugs, or substances, something that was distorting your perception. For some of you, it was money, okay? So money was holding you or your person back, yeah? For, yeah, for, for, a lot of, for a lot of you, it was somebody that had an alcohol problem. I'm just going to keep it 100, okay? So this is somebody that was refusing to go towards the light. This is also somebody that stayed in a toxic partnership, possibly due to children. With Scorpio being here, you could be dealing with a, if you are a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a fellow Scorpio or someone that has um, Scorpio in Venus, Okay, so what this is giving me is very much someone that uses sedu seduction. All right, you may need to check your eighth house placements. I'm being told some of you could have Taurus or Libra in your eighth house. I feel like someone lacked faith. They also made a silly decision. Okay, um, yeah, they went up against someone that they shouldn't have. I'm hearing an empty victory, but there's definitely a Capricorn. I mean, Capricorn, yeah. All right, so there's definitely a um, cancer in this equation, all right? Somebody could be hiding something from you, cancer, regarding your love situation. Yeah, definitely. So someone was trying to keep a victory from a cancer, okay? This will resonate with you specifically if you know you're dealing with someone that is a Scorpio or someone that does dark, heavy magic, like love spells type of magic, okay? This person could also have been trying to astral project into your dreams, trying to put false, um, I heard false hope, but um, giving you a little um, delusion or, or making you feel distorted with this Neptune energy, all right? This is Pisces energy. This is all about dreams okay it's also about someone being receptive this could have something to do with addictions being uh, to people places or things including money okay so there was some sort of illusion surrounding this empress uh, no matter if you're a cancer or not no matter what sign you are okay so this is something that was faded it was out of your control it was a lesson to be learned okay so, yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah, this emperor is going through some sort of tower moment. They could also be having to face their shadow side, okay? With the Capricorn energy being here in a high vibration, this is somebody that was focusing on their finances, okay? And for some of you uh, that are emperors, um, whether if you male or female, you're a business owner. Um, this is having something to do with you confronting what was being done in the shadows, okay? You could be a Capricorn or this could have something to do with the Capricorn Aquarius cusp.
Okay. So there was a tower moment surrounding your situation, definitely having to do with love. I'm being told that, um, <clears throat> um, this is somebody that wasn't because they're so financially stable for some of you, they were financially stable and maybe getting took it, taken to court because they got hooked up with like a succubus, uh, incubus energy. This is somebody that, um, threatened them. Okay. Uh, blackmail, whatever, uh, with the, with that emperor energy, this is somebody that feels they have a lot to lose and they could possibly have a lot to lose. However, if they lost it, it's because of karma. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. So somebody could be staying at a hotel. You could work for a hotel service. Okay, but there was a third party used uh, to come in and separate you and your person. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, so somebody used sex in the past to trap someone, possibly with a child. Okay, so yeah, somebody could have also um, used women. Okay, as a as a means to hide their sexuality. So this would be someone that has a lot of children. Um, in different places, okay, but they're secretly into men. So this is somebody that's off stable with the balance being card, uh, balance card being here. This is my Sagittarius card, okay. So don't take offense, but this is <clears throat> for some of you a Sagittarius, okay. They could also have uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in their chart. This is somebody that refuses to learn the lesson. So. Spirit, universal life force source decided that they was going to flip the script. This person could be watching you or me <laughs> or you could be watching them. OK, so I feel like this person has a lot of uh, debt. OK, uh, financial debt as well as spiritual jet jet <laughs> debt. Somebody could be getting on a jet plane. OK, um, traveling. OK, or wanting to travel uh, towards you or you towards them. Okay. So somebody was definitely jealous of someone's, uh, twin flame connection. This person could have been getting readings done on you. Are you on them? Okay. Yeah. Somebody didn't want, um, they didn't like the fact that you walked away. All right. All right, so this person kind of forced their hand. They wanted to keep you in the third party or they used the third party possibly to throw magic at you, okay? So this would be somebody that you wouldn't think would do it. I'm just going to keep it honest, okay? Because they want to have this persona that they can get anybody, okay, that they got money and people come to them, okay? So this is somebody that has a third party, fourth party, fifth party. They could also be married, okay? And if they are, they're very aggressive towards their counterpart, whether if it's male or female. Yeah. Okay, so some, some of you, this third party individual may have said that you were their prostitute or they could have um, a fetish for prostitutes, okay? See, yeah, this person has a very dark energy or entity attached to them because they have multiple people, men, women, whatever. They could possibly be narcissistic or sociopath, all right? No, I'm not a doctor. However, I'm reading the cards, all right? Somebody would have to be diagnosed on paper for those of you that, you know, love paper so much. All right, why is fire sign here? Oop. Okay, so yeah, so um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this could be you or it's someone that you're dealing with. You could have met someone at a strip club. All right. Um, this would have been someone younger. They could have possibly gotten this person um, pregnant. Okay. But what I'm really getting here is someone did trap someone. Okay. This person could have also tried to poison you or poison your thoughts. It doesn't necessarily have to be with um, physical poison. Okay. They could have poisoned your thoughts against someone or vice versa. This person is watching you. Okay. And so they're saying what happened in the champagne room. Somebody could have had multiple sex partners when they went to a strip club. All right. Whatever it is, is coming out. All right. So I do feel like, um, somebody was protected possibly from an STD. Somebody could also be gang stalking you or you were gang stalking them. I'm here and trying to figure out who 
um, gave them an STD. My su my suggestions, if you've been diagnosed, you can get a pendulum. Get a pendulum and do a pendulum swing and ask who gave you the disease, okay? People be scared when I say get that pendulum, honey, but that's a, I mean, it's energy. Energy don't lie. Why is fire here? That's why I'm a threat to a lot of people on here. Yeah, so this player is thinking heavily, possibly about going to jail. They could have had some participation in the murder. All right. Oops, I'm, I'm hearing somebody could have gotten shot or murdered. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, as well as a Gemini. Somebody could have set their partner up. Yeah. So word got around about someone that has something to do with the murder. All right. Um... Somebody could also be facing jail time, okay? So with this collective conscious um, card coming out, this is somebody that's having a light body activation. You could be seeing 365-555-999 or 101010. This is an indication of a sequence of events happening. This person is doing a lot of contemplating, okay? They may also do a lot of lying by omission. So what that means is this is someone not telling you exactly why they left, possibly because they were married, okay? They were holding back their information. So there was a change happening for you or this person. Again, somebody could have went to jail or, um, yeah, somebody could have put their child's mother in jail because this is my prison mom card, okay? I'm, I'm getting very seriously that someone got shot from, from, from their child's mother. Why is Libra here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody may have found out about a ter uh, third party, fourth party, fifth party. Uh, the Gemini in this vibration is a soul contract, a soul tie. This is someone refusing to see the forest from the trees, like they like to say, right? But this is somebody refusing to leave a situation because they became complacent. We've seen the tower come out. The tower is this card here um, <clears throat> for me <laughs> as a reader, okay? Um, again, that is, uh, the tower is actually Mars or Scorpio energy, but this is the tower, meaning this is a third party. Okay. It could be Aquarius, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Okay. This is something somebody did that was foolish. Okay. And possibly with a third party or taking the advice of somebody that didn't really have good intentions for them. Okay, so somebody is figuring out with the sign card here. You could be a Leo or it could have something to do with the Leo. Somebody is figuring out they're coming to some sort of enlightenment, especially if they have cut down on drugs and alcohol and especially sex. Okay, um, we do see that we, we have the um, you're just an option. So this is a, a gigolo is a male thought. All right. Um, or it could also be a female for some of you. OK, this is somebody that is down with OPP. This is uh, other people's property. You know the song, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is somebody that is knowledgeable about their partner, uh, possibly using people for finances or receiving some sort of payment for um, their sexual activities. OK, so th they could have an online dating profile such as OnlyFans, okay, all right, some of you uh, even have taken out, um, what is those, the advertisements, okay, maybe uh, Craigslist, um, they're telling me, okay, so this is, so somebody was dealing with somebody that trades sex for housing, okay, they could possibly have a mood dis uh, disorder, they may be hyper uh, sexual, so this is someone that is always going to be scab scandly dressed, okay, they also want to have sex. So this is somebody that will fight you or try to start a fight with you so they can have sex, whether if it's male or female. And unfortunately, this particular fight, um, somebody could possibly went to jail or will be going to jail. Yeah. You see that? But the what, what's next, plan, plot, bad advice, hidden enemy. So this is a pick me, a conjurer, okay? So somebody took the downfall, um, the down, somebody's going to take a downfall. Somebody went to somebody in a low vibration to plot on someone else. It's kind of like you went to a karmic to get advice about a karmic and ended up with more karma. Okay. 
Yeah, look at that. So, even in my darkest hour, I still don't want you. Right? So somebody woke up. This is my entourage card in reverse. So this person was aware that they were being gang stalked or you were gang stalking them. And it says all I can uh, offer is sex and or drugs. Right? So this is somebody that's comfortable. Ooh, excuse me with the burps and all of that. Okay. This is somebody that's comfortable with one sided love because they really are not aware of what love is. For some of you, this is a marriage that somebody uh, wanted to leave for a long time, okay? Yeah, they could have been attracted to this person because when they met, they were in a lower vibration. This is definitely a soul contract or a soul tie, karmic in nature, that somebody had to overcome. For some of you, unfortunately, it was too late, or it is too late. Okay, so this person is heavy, heavily on your mind or vice versa. They want to come back. Okay, they want to come back. So, so this is um, my Africa card. All right. So, <clears throat> some of you, this is your child's mother. All right. This is uh, someone that you know a chameleon changes their appearance to match their environment. Okay. So this is some, a shape shifter. Also, this, this person could be, could have been, um, going in your dreams. Okay. As different individuals, possibly as your twin. All right. So this is somebody that's down for whatever they, they have low self-esteem and they keep a low profile. Somebody could also travel to Africa or, or, um, Nigeria or some, uh, countries, there to have some sort of spell work done okay oh, yeah look at this because this person is unstable and they're trying to figure out how they got there all right so they want they want to know or you want to know why they ended up in this struggle love situation okay it's because they were dealing with codependency whether if it's people or actual drugs okay this is also somebody that spent a lot of time around uh, very tumultuous, very sexual women, okay? This is somebody that likes to hang around in, in a strip club, so they're constantly being um, bombarded with ass and tits, okay? And some, you know, <laughs> and some pickles, <laughs> Or eggplants, all right? So this person um, didn't take a leap of faith with you, possibly because they had some conjuring work done, okay? Or someone just, you know, they didn't know. If this is a, a partner and they were in a marriage, they didn't know because this person was throwing stones, hiding hands. They would do things um, to hurt this person on purpose, but possibly blame, <clears throat> blame someone else. So again, this was a faded situation because you or your person had to learn how to raise their vibration um, more so. And what I mean by raise their vibration, they had to learn how to love themselves more. And don't get this wrong. This is somebody that is um, financially stable. Okay. So they have... Uh, a plethora of individuals constantly coming at them. So they don't qu quite know what love is. They could have possibly felt like you put them under a spell as well. Okay. Or they could have been convinced by friends, family, frenemies that, you know, you were no good for them. Why is temperance here? I feel like the temperance is um, actually you walking away from a situation for some of you, especially if you are a Sagittarius, okay? Um, this could also have been a betrayal done on a Sagittarius in, um, in secret, okay? Somebody could be watching you and falling in love with you, and on the flip note, this person is like a love-hate situation okay with the setup is coming out sticking out this person could be trying to plot um i heard to have someone killed but i don't want to scare anyone know that you are protected because temperance is here your angels uh guides ancestors are here protecting you but someone could be finding out about a setup plot okay uh on the flip side 
<clears throat> if you are a Sagittarius, I heard a female. If you are a Sagittarius female, um, the, your person could also have Sagittarius in their chart or Libra. They have a pick me or, or um, yeah, a gigolo ready to do whatever. Okay, so this is somebody that, you know, again, uses sex. I'm hearing somebody could have poked a hole in the condom, okay, or didn't wear a condom and got some sort of disease, okay, yeah, but the where the boy's at in reverse, somebody could have caught a disease from um, a dancer, all right, so this person feels uh, full of shame, right, because this is their karma, for some of you, this is why they ghosted you, no matter what sign you are, Okay, so it says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. All right, so this is somebody that could possibly be having a spiritual awakening um, or they had some sort of spiritual awakening by contacting, contracting this disease. Okay, for some of you, this is somebody that's having a spiritual awakening. They're having the first eye, um, second eye activation. Okay, on the side note, this person could have a lot of hair in their private areas all right so yeah this person is doing some contemplation with stars can't shine without darkness all right so for for some of you this is a karmic masculine that again may have tried to plot on you or um have you set up with some sort of disease or something okay but i feel like you may um some of you may have even uh, contracted a disease okay but you may have went and got some sort of healing okay so this is a spiritual warrior uh, my spiritual warrior with the save by grace and the upward okay so this is speaking about you being balanced as above so below some of you didn't realize when you uh, started to heal yourself some of these uh, these spiritual illnesses that you had went away Okay, so it says, as within, so without. So we have, as, a, as above, so below. As within, so, with, so without. Saved by grace. Okay? All right, um, with the what's in this cup, I do feel like you walked away or you're being advised to walk away because this, this plot card keep coming out, right? Somebody's trying to figure out what they can do next to bring you down. They're trying to also avoid... Um, the justice, I heard justice of the peace here. Um, this person doesn't realize they could possibly be um, being watched or monitored. I'm hearing FBI. Yeah. With the do it for yourself. Ooh. With the do it for yourself. They could have um, contracted someone like a hitman here. Okay. But that energy is being blocked. Okay. I feel like you're being, you're moving at a precise time with the go with your gut. Your energy introduces you before you even speak. So it's like, I'm hearing human lie detector, okay? Um, it's like you are a reader. You read people's energy because you have been through a lot of deception, okay? You've learned how to, look at that, many boss healed. You learn how to control your emotions, and you've also learned how to read people, all right? So whoever this masculine was, they kept jumping back and forth in between, Ooh, look at that. In between you and other people, they could have possibly had a secret wife or common law wife. They also have sex with their friends. Okay, they, this is somebody that uh, needs to be honest. They're dealing with someone that's totally opposite. Someone is that, that is not balanced. This person just wants to bring constant um, pain into someone's life. Tell me more about this betrayal. Look at this. Some, the, the, all right. All right. So I'm going to tell you right now, somebody about to uh, be arrested or has been arrested for some short, some short, some sort of plot having to do with somebody being shot. Okay. For some of you, somebody could have even passed away in this situation, but that's not going to be for everybody. This would be, you have an acknowledgement of or someone has acknowledgement of someone's involvement in a shooting. This person, on the flip side, somebody could be a forensics uh, investigator. They could also be, yeah, I'm seeing some, yeah, some, a forensic. Somebody's doing DNA um, testing here. 
I'm also seeing a national database as well. So somebody is definitely being investigated and most certainly by the FBI or the CIA. This is somebody that could have been in prison. If they were in prison, it was like uh, for big boys, like a fed federal prison. OK, or they will be going to a federal prison with trouble in mind. They could also be a descendant of a, a black widow. OK, as well. Some of you, you know, you're dealing with uh, or, you know, they are dealing with a, a black widow. This person could have um, manipulated this person into doing magic on you. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you keep trusting your intuition. All right. Because you're being guided out of a situation. Thoughts, player strategy before I get up out of here. Yeah, fate, Sagittarius energy. All right. So somebody is definitely about, I heard, meet their maker. Somebody could be in the hospital. Okay. So some, this is somebody that refused to learn their lessons. They didn't have knowledge. They didn't have uh, self-worth either. Yeah, this king of pentacles. Somebody is facing jail time. This person is heavily, heavily drinking. Okay. They could even suffer from a heart attack. I'm, I've been feeling that heart attack energy. Community. Oh, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, because they're not balanced here. Yeah, look at that. The Emperor. So this is a female Emperor. So somebody is literally off balance because you are leveling up, whether if you're a male or a female. This person wants to come back and unbalance you. Why is community travel and protection here? Protect yourself if you are a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sag, or you need protection from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag, sun, moon, or rising. So, yeah, you, you, my collective, the ones that's on a higher vibration, not the karmics, <laughs> you're moving on, you're chilling, you're not tripping, okay? You're just doing whatever you need to do. Some of you will get some information. Somebody's looking for a delivery. You could possibly be watching this a day that you get some sort of information about a legal proceeding. For some of you, it's Amazon packages. Go, go ahead. Yeah, but it's Amazon packages. Some of you are celebrating at home with the Nine of Cups here and the Knight of Wands. Okay? Somebody. <clears throat> okay, so this. Somebody needs to be cautious. Okay? Please be cautious. Um, especially about who you have at a birthday party or who you have in your home. Knight of Wands. Yeah, so be cautious. Somebody could um, also catch something on fire. Um, somebody could also be, again, trying to set someone up for it with a disease. Okay. Yeah, this empress, be careful because you're going to, you, you, somebody trying to set you up with a disease, okay, or trying to manipulate your energy here. Why is Gemini here? <clears throat> so we have six of swords. Okay, so you moved away to calmer waters. Okay, you, you're taking the advice of your ancestors, God, whatever, uh, fairies for some of you. Okay. He definitely was guided to move away from something. <clears throat> Possibly even a job for some of you. Yeah, there was a rites of passage here. Um, I feel like somebody could possibly go to jail or is in jail and is giving somebody some freedom. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is uh, wounded warrior energy. So somebody was in a toxic partnership for sure, and they're getting some sort of victory. Be, um, they're going to be able to move away from this person. Could have been their baby mama casting spells on them or their actual mother here for money, keeping and um, this person for opportunities, controlling their finances here. Tell me about the gain insight. Somebody's trying to gain insight about what's going to happen in court. Yeah. 
the king of cups so they're holding back their uh, emotions from you this person could possibly be not speaking to you or you are not speaking to them but however they are um watching your finances here some of you this person is plotting um taking some sort of trying to get somebody caught up in a legal um debacle here you know that you are protected Okay, you're being advised to hold back emotion from this from these people. Do not communicate. <laughs> Do not com communicate with these people because they are trying to set you up. Betrayal. Okay, somebody could even sign your name on a document and that could come out in court. What is this betrayal here? What is this betrayal? The betrayal is that somebody did some sort of death ritual or someone was involved in a murder with the judgment being here. Okay, I'm just going to keep it funky. With the two of wands, somebody had a decision and they made the wrong decision. Okay, they acted out of their emotions. Okay, again, somebody's going to discover who betrayed them. Yeah, for some of you, they had a choice between you and this person and they made a foolish choice. Why is the past here? The past with this forensic energy. Yeah, well, whoever tried to conjure up somebody's downfall, they're going to. They're, they're trying to hide their involvement here with the Four of Wands. This is definitely somebody's husband or wife or a family member at the bottom of the deck. This is a husband or a wife. All right. Let me see. Let's get a closing card. Advice for those going through this. What is the advice? So this is saying protect yourself, okay? Protect your investments, all right? For some of you who are pregnant, please stay in a high vibration because all that negative energy your child is absorbing, okay? And they could end up with some sort of spiritual disease. So make sure you stay in a high vibration. We'll raise your vibration here. Live life to the fullest, okay? Now that you went through all this toxic uh, energy, some of you, you weren't, you weren't aware of black magic or the effects of black magic. Some of you didn't believe in it. I've been there too until I actually met a warlock. And multiple, I've wet, I've met wet. <laughs> no, I'm not wet. <laughs> but yeah, I've uh, had multiple warlocks in my life. Okay? With the bust out of your cocoon, yes. This is somebody that is definitely aware. Okay? Know that your investments are protected. Some of you need to like drink warm uh, tea without any sugar possibly without any honey just something warm like uh, somebody could be drinking a chai tea but I meant uh, green tea all right so so yeah be open to love so you definitely saying no to love right now um, or you need to um, until you raise your vibration for whoever it is uh, resonates with you could also be telling your partner that you know you need to cleanse yourself get over that grief get over their trauma you need to raise your vibration so you may be closing yourself off to this person and just going ahead and enjoying your life after going through all of this how could you not okay for those of you that is not directly involved this will be a confirmation for you or some deeper insight on what actually happened somebody is grieving a death of someone this could be a death of a relationship or an actual death okay so the spirit is saying imagine solutions don't focus on the problems focus on you know what you want especially in this eight eight uh, lion's gate energy okay so you're being called to be of service so whatever gifts you have, you're going to be called to a platform, okay? To, yeah. And for some of you, you're going to find your higher vibration partner on this platform. For some of you, you're going to find yourself again because you're going to be able to have your creativity um, flourish, okay? I, I, yeah. Cre yeah, reevaluate your priorities. Somebody put themselves last when they should have been putting themselves first. This is somebody that... Is stuck on tradition and stuck on what other people feel about them. This is somebody that didn't do the shadow work, okay? I hope you enjoyed the reading. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.